spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. I hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let me talk wish y'all just a little bit y'all i'm back this is episode three of this declutter series if you miss one and two you need to go back go back back i will have it right here in the eye pop up for you guys congratulations to the winner of the last declutter giveaway i decided after episode one when i made it to episode two I did lip products and I had it to where you guys guess how many lip products I had and whoever was spot on or close to they received a free three piece mm -hmm. lip gloss set from AMB Lavish. I want to continue that giveaway. So with this drawer we're going to be doing it probably won't be a big declutter in this drawer because I decluttered severely in the very last declutter series which I will have pop up in the eye um, I got rid of a lot of palettes and if you guys don't know palettes is one of the hardest hardest things for me to let go so I want you guys to take a guess at how many palettes is in this drawer only comment down below right now how many palettes you think your girl got right here in this drawer i'm gonna take all the palettes out and count them myself i'm gonna write it down on my little piece of paper and we're gonna do a giveaway and for this giveaway it is going to be two free mink lashes from your girl's eyelash line um yeah so comment down below right now if you want to enter that giveaway all you gotta do is comment how many palettes you think we got right here um and before we jump off into this video you guys hit the subscribe button you don't even have to pause the video to hit the subscribe button it's right below the video once you click it it'll say subscribed right next to it the notification bell will pop up click on that and press all so you don't miss any uploads from your girl while i counted the palettes i cleaned out the little container i had right here as well as i laid paper towel down because i don't have drawer liner i'm gonna do the disclaimer again and i'm gonna do it in each and every one of these videos for declutter right now my declutter option is A, throw it in the trash because it's too old. B, give it away to my twin or my sisters or my nieces. Something like that. Because this is dealing with eyes, unless it's unopened and I don't think I will use it, I will put it on my Poshmark. Um, but because it's eyes, and we're in a pandemic still I refuse and would never give anything to any one of you guys or anything like that speaking of my Poshmark you guys yes I do still have a Poshmark the name will crawl, scroll across the screen as well as the same Poshmark items that I list on my Poshmark is on my website We'll scroll right here across the screen and it will be up under the tab Poshmark. If you guys would like to purchase it from my website, you can. I do have some items over there in my Poshmark that I just put from my Poshmark to my website. Same thing is on both. You can either purchase through Poshmark and if you don't have a Poshmark, you can purchase it off my website if you would like. But those are products that are not used because i'm telling y'all this is going to be hard considering i already did a massive eyeshadow palette declutter on my channel before i do have a trash bag right here underneath me and over there where you guys also can't see is a box for my twin we send each other makeup 
all the time y'all should follow my twin makeup shade i will have her channel score right here and plug her right here in the eye so i'm gonna start off with this little bitty stack oh one more spot also if it's something that i haven't used and i'm not getting rid of i will put it down in the new product drawer that's the drawer that i'm gonna go for when i'm doing my makeup videos because like i said i have so many boxy charm boxes over there full of makeup as well as i still been buying drugstore makeup so all new stuff i will be focusing my attention on so if anything has not been used and i do still want to use it it's going to go in that drawer item number one i got this off of poshmark from a poshmark seller this is the wet n wild limited edition house of thorns eyeshadow palette you guys i still have yet to open it um with it being limited edition i'm pretty sure it's not available no more but uh i'm gonna keep it and i'm gonna put it in the new product drawer because i still want to try it at least once and see how i like it some people have mixed reviews about it so i'm gonna keep it but it's gonna go in that drawer so i can't get to it because i'm sitting in front of it so yeah it's gonna go in that drawer so we're gonna sit it to the side for right now same thing from the same poshmark seller i also got the secret garden Redensivus palette she looks like this i have yet to open it but i do want to try it so same thing with this one same poshmark seller bed of roses y'all going in a new product store because i want to try it so my hood of beauty electric obsessions oh y'all i had this for a while what do i do what do i do i'm gonna put this into the maybes because i just don't know i like it but i haven't used it in a minute i haven't used a lot of my makeup in a minute yeah this is gonna go in the maybes i'm gonna sit it next to me for a second all right the nika k you guys i did a full video on these this one is the poison apple and i also got sugar plum oh look at this sugar plum poison apple what do i do what do i do i think i'm gonna get rid of sugar plum and keep poison apple type in in the youtube search bar a marie beauty nika k makeup and put in poison apple it the video should pop up okay so these two f bites these are the bite size eyeshadows this one is cream and sugar looks like that really love these bite size and this one is carnival candy so let me just show y'all what i'm talking about when i say just really like look at that what oh goodness like you got to be kidding yes what wait what i gotta keep them my wet and wow this one is hempery solutions you guys, I kept this for the longest because I am like kind of a collector freak when it comes down to my wet and wild. But I think I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Here is my walking, not walking on eggshells, comfort zone. This is the very first one from wet and wild. And y'all, I just still can't, I, I, I can't see myself, ugh, I can't see myself getting rid of this like what i like i can't i can't i can't oh i still can't so she stays oh now this one's a hard one my two face just peachy just peachy mats oh lord let's nope can't get rid of it no no i had this for a good minute and i just can't my tart toasted palette can't get rid of it fairly it's not new but it's kind of one of my newer high end palettes can't let it go 
Here is my Sigma Warms Warm Neutrals Volume 2. Y'all, I was on Sigma's PR. Um, they kind of changed up things for 2021. And I don't think I'm no longer on there. But that's not going to stop me from using Sigma. And this is a great palette. I use this many times on my channel. Do the same thing. Search A Marie Beauty Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 and it should pop up. All right, this Lime Crime Venus palettes. Um, I know so many people got problems with Lime Crime or did have problems with Lime Crime, but I actually really like this palette. Um, whoa, I was not in frame when I did that. I really like this palette, and for some reason, I don't pull for this palette no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to go into maybe. Either I'm going to keep it or I'm going to send it to my twin. This one, for sure, I'm not going to let go, but I am going to move it to the new products drawer. I hauled this, I think, in 2020. This is the LA Girls Get Feverish. Feverish? eyeshadow palette found it at my CVS I do remember swatching it for the video but I don't remember playing with it so it looks like I play it looks like I played with it maybe I have maybe I have used this in a video <laughs> I'm gonna move it to the new drawer palette and see what we can do with it now this one, I got this off of Poshmark, same Poshmark seller. This is the Celestial Thunder Dominique Cosmetics palette. Girl, I only used, oh no, wait, I didn't use none of them. <laughs> none of them. So do we keep and put in a new product drawer or do we give it away to my twin? Because I never used it okay I'm gonna use it one time see if I like it or not if I don't like it I'm gonna send it to my twin that's just what's gonna happen y'all I have a problem here is the perfusion spectrum palette I think my twin sent me this and I have yet to use it very bright colorful palette which I love all mattes I'm gonna keep it Esmeralda by Beauty Creations. I got this in a boxy charm. I don't think I use this. So I'm going to give it to my twin. Because if I'm not mistaken, girl, I didn't even swatch it. Like, I don't see no finger marks. So, yeah, I'm going to send this to my twin. I don't know if she got the same thing. We don't never know if we got the same things in the boxy charms. Uh, we just send the stuff to each other, like seriously. Here is the beauty glaze, uh, Strelleriza, whatever. Y'all see it, whatever. Um, I think I did use this. I think it was all right. My bad. I think it was all right, but I'm not quite for sure. I, I want to say I used this already, and I can't remember, but this color looks real pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and give this to my niece because I just don't see myself grabbing for it for some odd reason. Yeah, I don't think I will, but I don't know. Who knows? Okay, this Olimar Cosmetics. You guys, I got this in a boxy charm, and I keep 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 saying i'm gonna keep it because i started to fall in love with alamar cosmetics and alamar cosmetics i discovered through my boxy charm but you guys i keep swatching it i keep saying i'm gonna use it i keep saying like yes i love look at that i'm gonna keep it one more round if i don't use it it's a problem all right the here to beauty desert dust palette this I have for a while, and I think it's time. I think it's time. I used to kill this palette, and now I don't even touch it. So, yeah, I think it's time. I'm going to send it to my twin. See if she wants it. If she don't like it, she could do whatever she likes with it. All right, so we have the Walking on Eggshell. Nope, 
I keep saying walking on eggshell. The Wet n Wild Naked Truth. Y'all, this is a good palette for traveling every day, you know, that type of thing. But I'm going to give it to my niece, even though it pains me. I'm going to give it to my niece. So, this Cindy, the CD Mini Palette in Makeup Shayla by Maybelline. Um, this is in collaboration with Makeup Shayla. And I keep keeping it because I loved... I'm not going to say loved Makeup Shayla. I love Makeup Shayla. And I got everything that was in the collection. So, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it because I just can't see myself throwing it out all right this wet and wild this one is comfort zone this is the new formulated one and i'm gonna keep it yeah gonna keep it this one here is rose in the air wet and wild gonna keep it i love me some wet and wild this one is not a basic peach gonna keep it I love these Wet n' Wild palettes. Ooh, my Ebion. My Ebion New York. You guys, Ebion New York is sold in all beauty supply stores. They sent me this in PR uh, ooh, a long time ago for review. Love it, love it, love it. I only use these two. These two is the only thing I use, but I love the entire palette but i had it for a while this is called strawberry coral oh and this is a eyeshadow and illuminator girl look here 24 hour i've been using it as just highlighters these two but i'm gonna pass it on my color pop nude mood you guys i absolutely love this palette this is a great palette great for bridal showers and everything my Makeup Forever Artist, Artist Shadow 3 palettes. Y'all, my wife bought me this when we first started dating. Oh, I was looking at what this was. I'm going to finally throw this away. But I cannot find myself to throw these eyeshadow palettes away. Because it's sentimental to me. So, guess what? It stays. Same thing goes with number two. Ooh, almost dropped it. Number two, she also bought me. Gonna keep. All right, so I got the Cara. Is it Cara Beauty? Yes. Cara Beauty. Three, four twenty palettes that they came out with. I guess they're called four twenties. I got the purple haze. Now, the thing with these is either I'm going to keep it or give it away to my niece because I bought all three palettes for my twin already and she has them. Um, What do I do? This one is purple haze. Let's see. This one is orange pop. Ooh, orange pop got to stay this is what i'm talking about yeah this is right in my alley um i did three looks with all three palettes they weren't the best but i mean hey they were good while they lasted oh okay the do i keep all of them okay i'm gonna give girl scout to my niece gonna keep orange pop um and purple haze what do i do give it to my niece only because i don't see myself grabbing for these again orange pop maybe because it's a lot of warm colors um if y'all ain't caught on yet i'm a warm tone girl type so oh my zulu palette looks like she's been through it she has girl by juvia's place she has been through it she will not go nowhere do we see this come on that's a love not going nowhere my saharan 2 by juvia's place not going nowhere 
my Warriors 2 palette not going nowhere. Girl, please. That's not going nowhere. My Perfusions Natural non eyeshadow palette. Oh, I did a video on this Five Below full face makeup tutorial on my channel. Um, Perfusion was in there. I love Perfusion, but this one is a different form formula than normal Perfusion. So she goes. I'm going to give it to my niece because that is not the same formula. It was good, but it's not the same formula. Look at my Juvia's Place Tri Palette still in the packaging. Girl, why? Why? Not going nowhere. Okay, so we have these palettes left. Boom. I got the Ace. Is it Butte or Butte? Out of my boxy charm the only colors i like is these two colors really in the palette i keep keeping it i like ace beauty but i'm just i'm done with the palette so i think i'm gonna give it to my twin i don't know if she had got that palette or not but yeah i'm gonna get rid of it the revolution makeup palette this is the reloaded division version i think i had all of them this one here reminded me of the abh can't think of the name right now but the worst palette abh came out with <laughs> subculture that is it i declared a subculture a long time ago i think i'm gonna declutter this as well i'm gonna send it over to my niece and let her play around with it girl because i just can't now the revolutions real reloaded neutrals three palette i think i'm still gonna hold on to this because once again it's all these warm tones that your girl feels in the fall and year round i think i'm gonna keep that all right so morphe has the eyeshadow palette subscription the brush subscription as well as the liquid lipstick subscription I said this in my previous video. I am subscribed to the eyeshadow palette subscription and I'm subscribed to the brush subscription. And with all the free points I get for reviewing whatever brushes and eyeshadow palettes they send me, I use my free points to get the liquid lipsticks so that I won't have to be on all three subscriptions, even though I'm pretty sure they want me to. <laughs> But this came out of the Morphe Shadow Me subscription. And this is Flocking Fabulous, the Live Glam Shadow Me. So I guess it's called Flocking, Fla Flocking Fabulous. And this is pretty cute. I don't even think I use this. So I am going to keep it. I'm just going to move it over to the new palette section. So that we could test that out on camera. Soft Glam by ABH. Girl, do we see how much we love this palette? She ain't going nowhere. She's not going nowhere. Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. She's going to the maybes. I, I just, I can't make a decision yet. My Jackie Ina palette by ABH. Girl, never. Never going nowhere. This is one of the best ABH palettes alive. Second to that is the modern, modern Renaissance palette. If I had to rate them, Jackie Anna first, modern Renaissance second, soft glam last. And that's just out of my collection. So these are not going nowhere. I'm going to keep just peachy. Sweet peach palette. Let's see. My two maybes, the Huda Beauty electric palette electric obsessions gonna give away to my twin the lime crime venus gonna give away to my twin did we just do that or did we just do that i'm gonna fast forward through here and see how we could um rearrange these products and see what we could do with it I, I, 
I'm feeling this. <laughs> I'm feeling this. So hopefully you guys guess the number down below in the comment section. I won't put it at the end of here. I will let this go this giveaway go for a week and I will contact the person in the comment section to send me their email address and all that good stuff. If you don't answer, girl, I'll move on to the next person, okay? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you think I did good in this declutter or if you think I did bad, which I think I did damn good, surprisingly. But <laughs> yes, you guys, I thank y'all so much for coming back and rocking with your girl, even though, you know, I disappeared for about a year. You know, but we're not going to hold it to my heart, hold it to my mind, because my mind played tricks on me. But, y'all, that is it. That's it for this declutter. This is episode three. Stay tuned for episode four. The only way you will stay tuned for episode four is if you like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification. And we will just see you over there in episode four. Deuces. Deuces.